Walt Disney will forever be associated with animated films. But the studio's live action output is nothing to sneeze at. Why didn't you say so? This is what I've been waiting for. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 live action Disney movies. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> For this list, we're focusing on Disney-made movies that are essentially live-action, although they may include some animated sequences. It's lovely bobbing along, bobbing along on the bottom of the beautiful briny sea. Number 10. Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. It's like I said all along, Poopsie. Cats rule and dogs drool. Get a life. Get nine of them. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good animal story? Especially when those animals are given voice by the likes of Sally Field, Michael J. Fox, and Donna Michi. Did you even notice how sad Jamie looked when he left? In Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, two dogs and a cat travel many miles to be reunited with their beloved human family. La, 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 la. There you go. Hey, thanks. Whoa. Whoa, fish. The film is equal parts adventure, humor, and charm. And all together, it's a winning combination. Remember hot dogs? Yeah. Never much like the name. Well, I don't think they're really made out of dog. I don't think they're made of meat. They taste the best when they fall in the dirt. Number nine, Swiss Family Robinson. Help! 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 Get us out of here! We're trapped! Getting shipwrecked and chased by bloodthirsty pirates was never as much fun as it was in Swiss Family Robinson. Sure, there's the usual family friction. Very beautiful, my dear. Come and join the family. Especially when a young lady shows up and strikes the fancy of the two older brothers. I think it might have been simpler if I'd left the dress in the bottom of the chest. But there's also the treehouse of every kid's dreams, ostrich rides, and enough fun and adventure to satisfy even the pickiest viewer. Number eight, Tron. Do you think we can merge with this memory bit? Yes. Pixar's John Lasseter has stated that Toy Story would never have come to be without Tron. And that's reason enough to include this groundbreaking live action and CGI film here. Watch it, watch it. Ah! But the fact is, Tron is a pretty great science fiction film, period. Its exploration of computer-based imagery provides stunning visuals, and its story is engrossing and enjoyable. I knew you'd escape. They haven't built a circuit that could hold you. A cult film that has gained an incredible fan base over the years, it even inspired a sequel, Tron Legacy, a full 28 years after its release. Long time. You have no idea. An expedition from the Nautilus. Number seven, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You got a whale of a tail to tell you land, the whale of a tail or two, about the flapping fish and the girls I've loved on nights like this with the moon above. Whale of a tail and it's all true, I swear by my tattoo. Disney memorably brought Jules Verne's classic 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea to the screen in 1954. And I'd advise you not to attempt escape you understand your position? Well, I don't know, Captain. Prisoner has a right to escape, hasn't he? That is correct, sir. And a guest don't need to. Say, guess that makes us a little bit of both, huh? <laughs> An excellent and exciting adaptation of the novel, the film is especially remembered for its thrilling giant squid sequence. It also contains one of James Mason's signature performances, as well as expert work from Kirk Douglas and Peter Lorre. Seems you can't do anything on this boat without getting wet. Hey, I feel like I'm keeping a fish out of work. While its special effects may not seem quite as realistic as today's CGI-derived ones, the movie's sense of wonder and excitement more than make up for this. Hang you, baby. Hi. Number six. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Delivery, apogee, panic. Oh, bother. 
I do hate shoddy work. Animation and live action combined beautifully in Bedknobs and Broomsticks, a magical musical starring the incandescent Angela Lansbury. You will wash yourselves, otherwise there will be no supper. Is that clear? A house of horror. That's what we've come to. In the film, Lansbury plays an apprentice witch in wartime England whose magic helps keep the Nazis at bay. Paul, I need the bed not back. I must get to London immediately. No, I want to go to the jungle. Underrated at the time of its release, Lansbury's performance, the special effects, and the sparkling score have won the flick many admirers in the years since. <laughs> Number 5. The Muppets Always dreamed we'd be back here. Dreams? Those were nightmares! Huh? The Muppets have had their ups and downs on the big screen, but this 2011 outing is first class all the way. <laughs> okay, time's up. Thank you, guys. Guys, oh. We're trying to get the old gang back together again. It starts with an excellent premise. After a falling out, the Muppets reunite to save their old theater. This just in! The Muppets are about to take back their studio! Then the creators fill it with snappy dialogue, lots of comic bits, catchy and tuneful songs, fun guest stars... Are you one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes, I am, and let me show you how you can help. And, best of all, the Muppets just being themselves. This is what we call the Muppet Show! Number four, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Zelensky, give it a rest, it's Saturday! <gasps> Rick Moranis got what is probably his best film role as a wacky scientist in the 1989 science fiction comedy, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Awesome. So your dad's still in contact with his home planet. As the title indicates, Moranis accidentally uses his newly developed shrink ray on his children and the neighbor's children as well. Nick, what happened? We're all the size of boogers. The expected fun and pandemonium ensue. Size 646. Okay, he's got serious problems. Most people can predict many of the things that happen, but that's okay. The film is sweet and funny, the special effects are great, and the cast is winning. What's not to like? <laughs> Number three, remember the Titans. Bunch of tough guys. You look like a bunch of fifth grade sissies after a cat fight. You got anger, that's good. You're gonna need it, son. You got aggression, that's even better. You're gonna need that too. But any little two-year-old child can throw a fit. Denzel Washington turns in one of his best performances in Remember the Titans. Look, I don't, need, I don't need no John Brown State Troopers. You can tell whoever threw this brick through my window, they can come visit me anytime. I'll be at home. As the black high school football coach trying to produce a winning team while fighting prejudice. I don't scratch my head unless it itches, and I don't dance unless I hear some music. I will not be intimidated. That's just the way it is. If you won't carry your sinful pride with you to your grave, that's your business. But when your sin's in danger, my little girl, it becomes mine. He's a solid anchor of this inspiring and uplifting film. The movie attacks a difficult situation head-on, but with sensitivity. And the direction by Boaz Yakin brings out the strengths of both the cast and the script. I ain't saying that I'm perfect, because I'm not. And I ain't gonna never be, none of us are. But we have won every single game we have played till now. So this team is perfect. Number two, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Well, well, Jack Sparrow, isn't it? Captain Jack Sparrow, please. This fantasy flick introduced movie audiences to Johnny Depp's memorably outrageous Captain Jack Sparrow, and they took him and the movie to their hearts. Think of me, hearty Joe Ho. Filled with swashbuckling action and loaded with choice bits, The Curse of the Black Pearl is about as enjoyable a movie as it's possible to make. You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. It's even more fun than the Disney ride that inspired it. And that's saying something. It's the honest ones you want to watch out for. Because you can never predict they're going to do something incredibly stupid.
before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hey, yo! What's up? Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. It's my mother. But it's my mother, too. That's got him! Good for you, boy! You don't know this? I, I know something about history that you don't know. I'd be very excited to learn about it, Riley. So what do I call you, anyway? I am a Trimaxian drone ship from... Trimaxian? Affirmative. Okay, I'll call you Max. It's easier. Take a look! Number one, Mary Poppins. Rooming for everyone. Gather around. The constable is responsible. Now how does that sound? Mm. Generations of kids have grown up wishing they had someone in their lives like Mary Poppins. If you want this choice position, have a cheery disposition. Jane, I do. And why not? She may be a little tough on the outside, but she's soft and cuddly on the inside. Item one, a cheery disposition. I am never cross. And she knows magic, real magic, even if she doesn't call it that. The film's seamless blend of live action and animation is still impressive half a century later. Its classic score sparkles, and Julie Andrews' Oscar-winning performance is irresistible. Altogether, that makes this film supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Do you agree with our choices? What other live-action Disney classics should we have put on this list? For more enthralling top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.